Okay, so today in our empty nest lifestyle, we've decided to um, do what's called geocaching and we've been geocaching for a couple of years now or since 2013 but really since the kids left home we started doing it more mm -hmm. so we've been finding a lot of geocaches but today we are actually going to hide our first geocache and here is our geocache looks like a ladybug so we have to go find a place to hide it and then once we hide it we'll upload the coordinates to geocaching.com I think that's the website anyway, I'll tell you later. But we're gonna upload the coordinates and then other people can go find it. She's a lot better at this than I am. You find a lot of them though. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's I go. What do you gotta do? I gotta go find my coordinates. So I'm going out to this tree over here because this we drive by this location a lot so it'll be fun to drive by while we're on our way to the store and actually see people looking for it because if they're over by this tree they're looking for the geocache that's the hope anyway so yes that we see people looking for it so. now the bad part is we, we probably can only get lucky and see them one time because they're supposed to take it right no no they don't take it oh this is, oh no. i'm confused see i thought so this isn't one of the ones they take they I think we should hide over there in those rocks. I think those rocks look right, right. cool. Right. Yeah. I found a perfect spot. Look. Oh, wow. Perfect oh. spot. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> to just get my coordinates today. So obtain accurate co coordinates. Okay, so we hit our geocache. He's down in this hole between this rock. So I put him far enough back to where um, hopefully only people who are looking for a geocache find him, not like little kids. Maybe I should push him just a little further back because I don't want little kids getting hold of him. He was pretty far back there. Okay. He's pretty far back there. So hopefully only people who are looking for him find him and not some rando. So right. we we tried to hide our geocache and the geocache guy um smith reviewer reviewer smith came back and said that we couldn't hide it where we wanted to so we had to move it so we're gonna hide it underneath the tree nest so we're gonna be able to tell which one we hit it under because we're gonna have the GPS coordinates, but there's also the stake here. So I'm going to put it behind and underneath the concrete right here. And we're gonna leave our little guy there. Okay, okay. so we're gonna map our coordinates and then we're going to put that on geocaching.com and hopefully reviewer Smith will approve it this time. So we shall see. Okay, bye. Okay, so I'm here um, at the park. We, I'm, I'm on a little stakeout looking for the people that are going to be first to find on our little ladybug. Um, I'm hoping they show up soon. It's a little cold. It's a little rainy. But, um, you know, it just went live at 8 a.m. It's about 8.05. So I'm really hoping someone shows up soon. That way I can kind of film them looking for it without them seeing me. And also maybe once they find it, do a little interview with them. Talk to them about geocaching. How many geocaches they have found. Um, why they like doing it. And uh, hopefully someone comes soon to, uh, to find our little ladybug. Okay, so I've been here for about an hour. Um, still nothing yet. Still a little rainy. Uh, stakeouts are hard. I remember watching the old uh, cop movies and, you know, they always have a buddy with them. My buddy's at work today, so she had to work. Uh, today's Martin Luther King Day, so luckily I had the day off. Um, so I'm just here waiting. I am um, working on a new video while I'm waiting here. You can see my little setup. Got that. A little setup here. Um... I wish I would have maybe brought some food or a drink or something because just sitting here is, uh, I hope someone shows up really soon. All right, so I have now been here for over an hour and a half. Nothing yet. 
still sitting here had a couple cars drove by two people walking one dog <laughs> hey you're first to the fine all right All right, so we're here with our uh, our person who was first to the find for our geocache today. You want to tell everybody your name? Uh, Rich. Uh, our cache name is Two Road Trippers. All right, Two Road Trippers. Two. How long have you been doing this? A uh, couple years now. A couple years, you enjoy it? Yeah, that's fun. Get you out of the house, get you exercise. It's really fun. All right, yeah, I've been waiting here for a couple hours in this rain and cold oh, wow. to see, yeah, <laughs> see who the first person would show up. Um, so what do you enjoy most about geocaching? Uh, it's just taking you to different places you uh, never seen before. And it's kind of amazing that uh, how these things are all hidden everywhere. And you've probably walked by one most likely and didn't even know it. How, how many geocaches have you found? Uh, I think this makes 1,985 today. Oh my gosh. So our next uh, milestone is 2,000. And on our 2,000th one, I think we're gonna try to find the oldest geocache in Missouri. Oh, where is that? Um, I honestly, I forgot the name of the town. Uh, the fiance knows the coordinates, so. Well, very cool. All right, well, uh, look forward to, to seeing you again and maybe seeing you out there where we hide some more. Maybe you'll be the first one to find those too. Awesome, yeah, can't All wait. Right.